Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to share your Google Drive storage with family members or whoever you want, really. Plus, we're going to be taking a look at other stuff, but that's the main thing right here. So first of all, go right into Google and type in Google Family. You're going to see this. So this is the link where you guys need to go. So it'll be families.google. Once you get here, just click on Get Started. And before you create a family group, just scroll down. You're going to see everything that you can do. So you can share quite a bit of stuff, which does include your storage. So right now we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to create a family group. Now, before we keep going with anything, I assume that you already purchased a plan where you have some space. And by that, I mean, you already purchased one of these. So whichever one it is, regardless right here, it's going to tell you if you're ready to be the family manager. So just make sure that email is correct. And all the way down on the bottom right hand side, you're going to see confirm, just click on confirm. And then from here, you're going to see a list or you can type the name or email of the person that you would like to add. Once you put that in, just go into sent. That's on the bottom right hand side. Then you're going to see this page family group created. So right now you should see this family group created. Now you should check your email if they accepted the request. And just in case if they didn't get an invitation, just send it again. So you can just click on send new invitation. And you will also get again, an email confirming that they already accepted your invitation. So I'm just going to click on got it. All right, so to show you the type of email that the person you invited to should have got, and they should have said invitation. So right here, they can click on accept invitation. That's the person who you invited, supposed to click on there. And once they click there, they can go on and just get started. So on the bottom right inside, press on get started. Then they're going to see another screen. Again, just press in on join family. And that's it. That's all they had to do. Welcome to the family. That's what they will be seeing. So we're looking at what the person that got the invitation is looking at. They can view family at this point. From there, you're going to see a list of whoever you send that invitation to. And if you scroll down, you're going to see all of this. So your family sharing options. And you can go on into view family sharing. If you keep going down, you're going to see parental control for those of you who need that. And if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see delete your family group, which is an option as well. If you change your mind at any point for now, we're going to click on view family sharing. So that's down here below. And once you do that, you're going to see an entire list of things you can share. So right now you guys can share your calendar, uh, Google assistant, for example, family link, YouTube, any plans that you have, basically you can share. And one of them is Google one, which is your Google drive. So you can share that space. So right now, if I click here, see right here on this option, it should take you to this page where you scroll down and you're going to see right this second available now, create a family group to use this benefit. So go on and click, go to your family settings on the right hand side. And from here, you're going to see this share Google one with family. You can turn it on and off from here and you can manage family settings. Right now, what I'm going to do is just make sure there's a check mark. So just click on it. This will slide to the right hand side. That means you are going to share your Google one and go on into manage right now. So fa manage family settings, just go right in. Then they're going to be taken to this page where they can see exactly who's managing this. Plus they can see themselves and what you're sharing at the moment, which does include the Google one subscription. And in this area where they're looking at Google one, if they click here, for example, and it takes them to something like this that says benefit not found, don't worry about it. Just let them know that they have to go into the Google drive and they should be good. And they should be good as long as you in your end, you did this, you manage your family and you turned on share Google one, which we already did that. So at this point in time, what your family member can just do is go into their own drive and they're going to see that all of a sudden they have a ton of storage. Well, whatever storage you as the manager had, they can also go ahead and use that storage as well. So they will not have any problems anymore. So right now I'm just going to the other accounts. This is the family member. They can see the family storage. You see all that free. Yeah, that's all the storage that they can go ahead and use. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.